Hi, I'm Matt Egan, Director of Technical Strategy at Okta in our corporate development organization. Uh, in my role, I have the pleasure of working with strategic, strategic integrators um, that are either in the mergers and acquisition space, Okta Ventures, our corporate venture capital arm, uh, or they're a strategic ISV where we're seeking to build differentiated integrations together. So I, I truly believe that the most important skill that, that anybody currently working in or looking to get into the cybersecurity industry needs today is just dogged determination and intellectual curiosity. Um, asking a lot of questions about why and how uh, specific things happen or uh, how a, a given technology is going to work. Uh, there's 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 no singular system that you need to go and learn or become a you know a master in. You know I had I have or had at one point in my life a CISSP and it covered a pretty broad base, um, which which actually was good. You know that that broad base and the, the general information there did give me a lot of context to go and ask a lot of intellectually curious questions uh, in systems. So I think that broad base of understanding and just an overall intellectual curiosity, being willing to ask a lot of questions why and how. So the most advanced social engineering attack that I've ever seen, uh, I didn't see this one in person, but somebody just shared this story with me and it was, it was insane. Uh, so phishing resistance and authenticators, uh, you know, Okta, Microsoft, a handful of people have, have taken to challenging the user to indicate that they were indeed a part of this. One of the things that happens in a push notification based authentication is the user is just going to say yes. And, and so uh, attackers will take advantage of this and just spam users with it. And eventually the user will just say yes to the push notification. Um, so to insert phishing resistance, they they wanted to show some proof of knowledge. Show me the number that's on this this login screen and the, the, the latest breach they had actually man in the middle of the entire chain and were relaying all of that information back and forth with a very, very sophisticated page. Uh, it was it was over the top. So what do I view as the biggest consequences of a data breach? Um, you know, for me, I got a couple different ways I could I could slice this, but but one of the the more interesting ones that's come up or I've started to to think about recently is the amount of leverage that can be applied to a person when a sensitive system is breached. So a good example would be the Ashley Madison breach um, or systems like that, right? Any any system where I wanted uh, a certain level of anonymity or privacy and maybe the information that was exposed uh, could be could be used against me um, or, or you or any person, uh, you know, and, and you know, what happens then when, now it's not just the fact that everybody in the world knows my social security number, I can deal with that. But when somebody knows something sensitive about me, and I now do not have autonomy, uh, that becomes problematic.